on the old editor I would type in some text and then I'm putting in a link to a YouTube video and if I pause for a second Quercus will figure out that this is a YouTube link And then it expands the dialog box, and I could click Disable Inline Previews for this link. And then I could say Insert Link, and I just get this. If I don't do that, this is what happens. Paste the link and just say Insert It, and I get this ugly inline video announcement and then when I save the page it looks like that. If I prefer the first version and I'm using the new editor I type like this and I don't get any expansion no matter how long I wait. And when I insert it, I get the preview which I didn't want to see. And if I save this, it ends up looking like this. But now I can, behind the scenes, edit this page and I can click on the edit the HTML and when I look at the HTML, the link for the YouTube video is here and it has a property called class which I can it has it's set up already with uh, an empty set of quotation marks if I just put in there inline disabled and then save it I'll get just the link